Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Victoria Lin, and today we're gonna be playing with some KKW Beauty. I have the new KKW Beauty and Mario palette. I'm really excited to show you this look because I just got this palette today, so I filmed as soon as I got it. I couldn't help myself. I really wanted to try this because I'm a really big fan of Makeup by Mario, and I love the way he does Kim's makeup. I actually got to meet him. I went to Gen Beauty New York, and he had a masterclass, so I attended his masterclass. It was awesome, I loved it. The way he does makeup is like so soft. He is so so soft when he's applying makeup to the model. At his master class he focused on the skin so we got to see a full face routine and it was literally life-changing. It was so amazing to see him do beautiful red carpet kind of skin on a model and before he left he was like leaving really fast but I managed to get a picture with him. I was like wait. Yeah. I need a photo right now and he actually took a photo with me. He was nice enough to actually stop what he was doing, stop, you know, leaving, and he took a photo with me, and it's right there. And today you guys are gonna see all the swatches and how I got this look using the palette, so if you are ready for that, then be sure you like this video and hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload. And if you guys are ready to see the palette in action, then let's do this. All right, you guys, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using my mom's palette because hers arrived before my bundle did. I'm not sure why my bundle didn't arrive with her palette because we ordered it at the exact same time, but I'll be using hers today because mine is not here. And I'm gonna try to substitute a lip that's kind of similar to the gloss and the lipstick that's in the bundle. But anyways, when I received this palette, I was a little disappointed in the packaging. I just felt like because this is coming from KKW Beauty and this is like their first eyeshadow palette, I felt like it was gonna be a little bit more luxury. It's very sleek feeling and it looks very sleek. It's very, very simplistic. You can barely read the front of it. It says KKW and Mario. It's just very, very faint. And it's just super, super simplistic. There really isn't much to the packaging other than it's like this gray neutral tone. This palette overall, it doesn't feel like it's worth $45. It definitely feels like more of a ColourPop price range as far as the packaging goes. Can we create a beautiful look with it and beat that face today? Yes, we are going to. I know we can. I've seen swatches of these shadows and they look so beautiful, but the packaging overall, it was a miss for me and I really, I really don't like it. There is a mirror that comes inside and on the back you have all of the shade names and we're gonna go ahead and swatch them really quickly. They feel really nice when I touch them, like they feel really buttery and soft. Okay, so this is 2008. That is a really pretty inner corner highlight shade. I love this color. It is pretty reflective as well. I think these names are really, really cute. I really like them. That one looks really good. So this is Glam. Ooh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. That swatched so beautifully. Like, it's beautiful, that color. So next we're gonna swatch a matte, and this next one is called Miami. And my finger is pretty coated, so let's see. This is Miami. So Miami is a really nice warm brown matte, and I feel like that would look really good in the crease. So these are those first three shades. So this is Armenian, and then we have Loyalty. Next we have Decade. So next we have Albanian. Ooh, wow. Oh my gosh, the way that that just swiped was amazing. And lastly we have Libra and bronzy. Those are really beautiful, really, really beautiful. That blue is gorgeous. It's a lot more bright in person. It definitely looks more like a brighter blue. It's like a true cobalt. So overall, I am really impressed with these swatches. I think they swatch beautifully. They are insanely pigmented. They're very, very pigmented and really soft to the touch. So I can see now that the price of them, it definitely reflects the quality of the shadow itself and the way it feels. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this look out. We're gonna be doing a bronzy look today. I feel like this blue has been used so, so much, so I wanna give you guys a different kind of look that you can do with this palette other than the blue. So I'm first gonna start this look by laying down the P. Louise base, and I ordered this on their website. It took forever, forever to get to me, but it is really worth every hassle and every scent because it is like the best eyeshadow primer ever. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my lid to prep for the shadow. And I'm first gonna grab the shade Miami and I'm gonna go ahead and pop this right into the crease of my eye. 
and I'm just packing this into the crease and then blending it outwards to really elongate the eye. The shadow is blending really nicely and really easily. It's really soft on the eye. And I'm just closing off this outer corner with that color. So I'm going all around the crease like this and then closing it out like that. And I'm using this on a Sigma Tapered Blending E35. So I'm next gonna grab the shade Albanian and I'm gonna go ahead and start deepening up the look. Oh wow, okay, the pigment, the pigment is incredible. It is crazy pigmented. I'm just adding the shade Albanian right into the outer corner of the eye. And I'm also sort of bringing it under to the lower lash line. So once I add that color Albanian in the outer corner, I really just bring it into the crease and blend it right into the Miami shade. I love this color. It's a really nice, rich brown, and it's really warm, so I think it's really pretty, especially with all these golds in here. One thing I notice a lot about the makeup that Mario does on Kim is he really elongates her eye. He makes her eye look so big. She already has really big eyes, and they're so beautiful, but I feel like he makes them look so much bigger by just lightly blending out the shadow in the outer corner, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm using a Sigma E40, and I am just blending this outwards. I'm just taking what's left over on the brush and bringing it underneath the eye. I'm gonna grab the shade Loyalty on a Sigma Short Shader E20, and I'm just gonna start applying this right to the lash line and sort of do like a smoky liner. I feel like overall, I never see Kim in like black liquid liner, so I really want to make this a really smoky, sultry look today. So I'm just kind of blending that shadow onto the lash line. And there is very minimal fallout. I just wanted to mention that. I'm not getting a whole lot of that right now, like at all, which is great. I always do my foundation first and I hate when I have a ton of fallout, but I really don't have any right now, which is amazing. This eyeshadow Loyalty is so pigmented that you could literally use it as an eyeliner. It goes on so, so like dark brown, but it is pretty easy to blend out and soften. So now I'm gonna grab the shade Bronzy, and this one looks so beautiful, it's swatched amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this to the lid, but only to the outer corner of the lid. And now I'm gonna grab the shade Armenian, which looks so beautiful. This is the gold, and I'm gonna go ahead and start placing this on to the lid. That is so pretty, and I even feel like wetting the brush would make this even more pigmented. So I'm just gonna pick up some more of that shade Armenian and I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm just using some primer water. Photo finish primer water, yes, love this stuff. So I just wet my brush and I'm gonna go back in with that shade to really make it pop. Oh my gosh, yes. So it definitely really pops when you wet your brush. And I'm taking a little bit of the shade Glam and I'm just sticking that in between bronzy and Armenian. But I just took a little bit more of that dark brown shade of Loyalty into the lash line and blended it up in the outer corner. And now I'm just gonna do a little bit of blending just with a clean blending brush. Blend all these colors together. And then lastly, I'm gonna take the shade Decade and this is a really nice matte brow bone shade. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this right into the brow bone. I really like they included like a matte highlighting shade in this palette. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some big fluffy lashes and some mascara, and then we'll finish up the lower lash line. All right, so the lashes are on. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a brown eyeliner in the waterline. I noticed with a lot of the bronzy Kardashian looks, especially on Kim, she has a really bronzy kind of dark brown color in the waterline. And this is from Laura Geller. This is the Kajal Longwear Eyeliner in Dark Brown. It's like a chubby eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this all in the waterline. I'm gonna bring it down some because we're gonna smudge this out. And now I'm just gonna take the shade Miami and I'm gonna start blending this on that lower lash line. And I'm just connecting it right up into the eye look that we have going on. So everything kind of wraps around. And now I'm gonna grab the dark brown shade Loyalty and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that on the lower lash line right in the outer corner of the eye and really close the lash line. And I'm also gonna take this brush vertically and this is the Sigma Short Shader E20 and I'm just gonna really smoke this out on the lower lash line, just like this. 
nice and smoky bronze. We cannot forget about 2008, so I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna pop it right on the inner corner of the eye. Ooh, and that is like a beautiful kind of like spotlight shade. This reminds me of MAC Nylon, which is one of my favorite inner corner highlights. This is really pretty. And I'm just gonna wet my brush with the product on it with 2008, and I'm just gonna pack some more of that in. So it's really, really popping. And now I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes in some mascara. And you can totally skip this step if you don't do lower lash mascara. I just feel like it makes my eyes look bigger, so I always add some mascara on the lower lashes, especially when I'm doing like a bronzy, smoky look. All right, so since I don't have the bundle and I don't have the lip products, I'm gonna go ahead and try to match up a color that looks really similar to what Kim wears. So I'm gonna go in with the Edge to Edge lip pencil from MAC and I'm just gonna line really quickly. And now I'm gonna go ahead and fill my lips with the MAC X Patrick Star She Better Work lipstick. All right, you guys, so this is my final look using the KKW and Mario palette. So overall, what I think about it is, I, at first, I was a little hesitant. I felt like I wasn't super impressed with the packaging, and I didn't really like the way it was looking. But after using it, I feel like the price is justified with the pigment of the shadows. They're really pigmented, and they blended so beautifully on the eyes, and I really love how this look turned out. I feel like this is more of an everyday palette with a pop of color, which I think is really nice. This is very wearable. I feel like this would look good on anyone. And overall, I do love all the bronzes in here. I feel like that's really true to Kim's makeup. And over the years, her iconic looks have always been really bronzy and just really beautiful. So this definitely reflects that. If you're a fan of Makeup by Mario, like I am, I love the way he does Kim's makeup, then you will really, really like this palette. So I can definitely recommend it to you guys. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful, and I overall love the way this look turned out. So if you guys love this look, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload. And let me know what you guys think of this look down below or this palette. I would love to hear your thoughts on it and what you thought of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.